Hi, I'm Bruce Northam. Welcome to American Detour in Ethiopia. We're combing through the inspiration behind head styles. Ethiopia, the land of unintentional models, remains biblically exotic. Never colonized and proud of it, they've had plenty of time to groom their own fashion sense. Every country has its wow elements. Ethiopia not only meets that challenge, it owns the challenge. Occupying a large part of the Horn of Africa and a land of geographic extremes, there's also a huge variety of hair and head garment styles. Never forced to borrow style from anyone, natural beauty reigns. It's common to see women elegantly bedecked in traditional white homespun cotton gowns or other languid, robish attire. Hairstyles, all right, let's start from childhood. As a boy, all right, as a kid, you should have, you know, they make you bald the whole hair and then you'll be left with a bunch of hair just on your forehead, so that tells you that you're a kid, all right, not grown. So you'll be keeping goats and sheep, that's your responsibility. Mothers think by just touching your bunch of hair here makes you taller. That's, that's the ideology behind that. And boys also like that as kids, you see. Everybody seems to have something on their head. Yeah. Tell me about that. It's, well, they can use it as a cover from sun protection, all right? They can use it like uh, protection from dust. And it can be also a way of expressing their status. For instance, in the church, you've seen uh, men, old men, having a white wrap on their hair. That mm -hmm. we call it tum, tum And it's to show that he's a priest, you see? No, no other man can do that except priests. So we can simply know who is the priest and who is the ordinary man. By, the, by the, the Tim Tam. By the Tim Tam, yeah. The Shash, a woman's headscarf or head wrap mixing form and function is decorative, yet it also protects from dust, sun, and wind. Crafted from any fabric, it also hides evidence of recent scalp butter treatments. Ethiopian women treat their hair with butter, you see? so. While having butter on their hair or on their head, they don't want to go out pub in public uh, uncovering it. So they like to put their shash on it. So that is to hide their butter, which is on their hair, yeah? The male equivalent to the shash is a gabi, though I didn't meet any guys who buttered their heads. I'm rarely starstruck, but every day, patches of Ethiopia resemble an epic Jesus-era movie set. Ethiopia's impassioned genealogy shares millennium surviving traditions assigned a hue all its own. Religious ecstasy defined. <laughs> 